What's up, nerds and noobs? It's Maceblade here. Uh, going to be running through the new update, and the new trap set, and also touch on the dedicated servers that was added. So let's get into it. So the new traps are actually going to be in your skill trees now. Um, and the first one doesn't even require any previous skills. It just requires one board. Uh, same with the log trap. So here we got a wood sashimi, which is a spike trap that pops up from the floor. And we have a log trap. Uh, over here we have a Molotov cocktail trap. We're just going to call it a tripwire because really that's what it is. Probably be renamed anyway. So it's a Molotov trip tripwire. Then we have a mine. Uh, I don't have a grenade. Or gunpowder. Let me go see if I got some here. Gunpowder. Perfect. So we'll train in that one. And we'll train in that one. Alright. Um, I don't know what's required to build these yet. So now we have a... They call it Iron Thorn. Or it's an Iron... Sushimi, um, or just an iron pit. So, let's train on that one. Uh, electric gill net. So, I'm assuming that's just going to be a spike ceiling. Uh, rotary blades. Requires electrification grade 3. Electrification grade 4. Three flamethrower. Probably going to run on fuel if I had to guess. All right. Oh, well, let's see what it costs to build these things. All right. So, the iron rejection horse you're given right off the bat is just in upgraded wooden spikes. So, let's put that one here. That one requires four iron ingots. That's not bad. But four ingots will make that whole wire mess. I don't know. It seems cheap. All right. So we got a mine. Holy shit, that thing is tiny. Well, there's a mine. Uh, then we got the Molotov tripwire. I'll put that right there. We have the log trap. That's pretty big. Let's put it this way, because I think it's going to swing this way. That's the default, anyway. Uh, the electric gill nut, we'll put right here. The rotary blade. That's pretty neat. Uh, so, some of these are pretty basic, like Molotov cocktail only needs uh, one Molotov and five plant fibers. The mine needs one grenade, one ingot. The log trap requires two logs, four boards, 30 fibers, and one plant part, or one simple part. The electric gill net requires a motor. Oof. That sucks. Uh, five electrical wire, five iron ingots, and five single parts. So it's pretty cheap, basically. The rotary blade, one motor, would make sense. Electrical wire, iron ingot, single parts, delicate parts, and steel ingots. Uh, Alright, that's alright. Uh, we got the uh, flamethrower here. So that would be cool to put like two flamethrowers on both sides of your gate or something. That'd be neat. But I wonder if it triggers to you. That would suck then. Uh, we got a spike floor. Put the wood one there, and then we got a spike floor for steel. Put that one there. All right, I'm gonna build these, and then I will get back. All right, so I'm back. <clears throat> I'm gonna go round up some zombies and uh, kite them back to the house to test out these traps. Now it appears they have increased the intelligence on the zombies because they now chase your car. They don't just run to where they aggroed you from. Oh, wolves don't like zombies? I 
got all three wolves now. Holy shit. I got five wolves now. Oh, the wolves do not like zombies. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The fucking stop signs look gonna kill me. What the hell? Alright, so let's bring him right up through here. Let's see how good we can do with setting him off in some traps. <laughs> that one's cool. Oh, somebody triggered that one. That one didn't trigger. So this one here is actually a pretty good one. Um, and consistently take damage from this one. So what I would do with this one, probably hook it up to a switch. So that way there you can turn it on and not be so damn close to it. This one here, I never even hooked it up to electricity. That's why it didn't work. Well, that makes sense. So you can reset these traps. You don't have to rebuild them, which is good, because I thought you are going to have to rebuild them. Um, but that's pretty neat. This one here, I don't know why you'd hook it up to the switch unless you it doesn't trigger automatically. Uh, that's on, so it should. I don't know if I want to run through there. Uh, but, yeah. And then this one here probably takes fuel. Yeah, I didn't. I fucking forgot to. Uh, and electricity, yeah, that sucks. Uh, so the only ones I didn't get to show off, which I will, and I will load it all up, and I will get right back to you. So I got one in tow. I'm all loaded up. We're gonna run them through the uh, ceiling. It's called a gill net, but. It's really not a gill net. We'll run them through the ceiling trap first and see if it fires. Don't push a car, asshole. Where are you going? Hopefully I didn't do any damage to him, or barely any. Because I don't want to... Uh, I mean, he did hit the car, so he probably took damage. What is this guy doing? Come on. Almost there, buddy. Man, oh, that thing is sweet. Oh, and it auto resets. That's cool. <laughs> that was awesome. 
All right, let me pull up one more zombie to test out the flamethrower. It was not able to find any zombies. Well, I mean, I could, but it's a long drag. I already had the wolves handy, so we're just going to use the wolves. Let's see how close to the flamethrower they got to be. Uh, what the hell is wrong with this thing? There we go. That one might have to be switch. I don't get it. The flamethrower kind of sucks. What's it doing? Check this guy. Oh, they jump right through it. They don't jump through that though. Yeah, this flamethrower sucks. I don't know. Maybe it's just situational. Maybe you gotta hook it to a switch to make it useful. But I mean, I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, this thing works great. You have to reset it. This one here you have to manually reset. But this one here, it's as every time it swings, they take damage from it. Um, the wolves, I can jump right through this. I imagine fast zombies, crawlers, shit like that can jump through it too. Um, but this thing here is, is great, and it's cheap. It's easy to build, and you don't need any prerequisites for it. Uh, flamethrower, God, unless it's on a switch. Yeah, man, it, it sucks. And then for the wood spike trap, you have to manually reset. And then this one here, you have to constantly turn on and off in order to get to work. So, yeah, so that's my review of the traps and how to build them and what to do. Now I'm actually going to destroy these now that I know what they do and use useful ones, which will probably be, even though they're really expensive, the iron traps and these. These things are fantastic. So, and I'll change all my wood picks out for these ones. Well, with that being said, also today was the release of dedicated servers. So, um, there's still some issues with the dedicated servers. If you host, you cannot play on the same box that you're hosting from. Um, a little bit of a problem for some people, including myself. Um, with that being said, I am hosting a build-off competition. Uh, my server is called Maze Blades Build Competition. Uh, the reward will be $25 via Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo, as well as a CD key uh, for the game No One Survived. What you're going to do with a CD key if you're already playing? I don't know. I don't care. It's not my problem. You figure it out. Give it to a friend. Give it to a relative. I don't care. Sell it. Um, with that being said, uh, you have one week from today to finish your builds. Um, I will actually be announcing the winner next Saturday. Uh, I will be live broad stream or live streaming via Discord, YouTube, and Twitch. Um, if anybody is found destroying or ruining someone else's stuff, you will be banned, kicked, and your whole team will be disqualified. You do not need a team. If you do have a team, then that is one thing. Um, you have to figure out how to split it. I don't really care. Uh, if you don't, then good for you. Um, it has to have feng shui. It has to have... Uh, you know, a flowing capabilities, it has to have a basically everything that you need to run a self sufficient base. Uh, crops, you know, cooking station, refrigerator, solar panels, or wind turbines, or yeah, they're not even in yet. Um, thermal generators, or a regular generator, whatever you would need to survive off grid or during an apocalypse, it has to have all that as the prerequisites. Um, your build does not have to be a specific size. It just has, you have to be able to move around inside. You have to, you know, it can't be cramped. It has to be somewhat comfortable or anything. Um, the loot is set to often um, and respawns every five days or two days. I think it's five days. And the vendors restock every two days. 
So with that being said, good luck, nerds. Have fun and uh, peace.